Welcome to the session in sentence equivalence. We are going to solve a GRE sentence equivalence question and we are also going to take a look at an introduction to etymology. Etymology is a word that means the study of the origins of words. To put it more simply, etymology is about the stories behind words. I am using the word stories because stories are hard to forget. So if you go back and look at the origins, the histories, the stories associated with difficult words, it becomes almost impossible to forget their meaning. Let's look at the question first and then we'll take a look at the etymology behind one of the words in this question. If you are watching this video, you can pause, solve it and then continue with the explanation. Consistently an underachiever and perennially unconcerned about his schoolwork, he surprised no one when he fell into the company of a group of students who likewise had a reputation for being blank about their studies. This is a fairly straightforward question. The meaning is hard to miss. The tone is entirely negative. We have a similarity indicator likewise. So we are comparing one student with a group of friends that he has. So he is an underachiever, he is unconcerned about his work and he surprises no one when he falls into the company of students who are like him. So we have said negative things about him. This is negative, this is negative. This, the group of students is like him so we also need a negative word for the blank. What makes this question a little more complex is the answer choices. You will see that the words are fairly uh, complex. So let's first look at the meanings of the words. Sedulous is hard working. So once I figured out by looking at the sentence, the context of the meaning that I want a negative word, I can eliminate sedulous. Assiduous is a synonym of sedulous. Assiduous also means hard working. So these two words are synonyms of each other. So neither of them can be the correct answer. Pedagogic is a neutral word meaning something that is related to academics or a syllabus or curriculum that doesn't fit the meaning. Acerbic means harsh, very critical that doesn't fit the meaning either. We have two choices left. Both are synonyms. Apathetic and phlegmatic. Both these words mean indifferent which is a good fit for the meaning of somebody who is an underachiever and who is unconcerned. Right? Apathetic. A is a prefix meaning without and P-A-T-H is a root word meaning feeling. So literally apathetic means without feeling. Somebody who is completely indifferent. Now as far as the etymology part of this lesson is concerned, let's look at the meaning of the word phlegmatic. Now as you might guess, phlegmatic comes from the word phlegm. If we go back to the origins of this word, we need to go back to the medieval era at a time when not much was known about the physiology of the human body. So people believed in something called the theory of humors. Right? Humors here uh, not in the sense of something funny but humor as in someone's personality. So it was believed that certain parts of the body, certain fluids in the body determined the personality that a person had. So for example, if blood was your ruling fluid, then you would be sanguine in temperament. And sanguine is still a root meaning blood. So the meaning of sanguine is calm, happy, optimistic. And if phlegm was your ruling fluid, then you would be phlegmatic in temperament. Phlegmatic means indifferent. So this is a good way to try to remember the meaning of a word. Look up the etymology. There are various websites on which you can look up the origins of words, the roots in words. As I said earlier, it's hard to forget a story. So if you associate phlegmatic and sanguine both with the root meaning of uh, phlegm and sanguine, and if you remember the theory of humors, it will be difficult for you to forget the meanings of these words. Thank you for watching this video. You are welcome to visit our website that's gre4u.com. We will have specialized workshops in sentence equivalence where we will be telling you a lot more about etymology, root words, prefixes, suffixes 
and uh, lots more vocabulary building exercises. So do visit our website. Thank you for watching and have a great day.